This is the world's first war submarine built in the United States in 1776. The operator held a bomb in his right hand, controlled the direction with his feet, and stealthily lurked beneath British warships. After fixing the bomb in place, he would quickly retreat. Before completing the mission, he could not resurface for air, which increased the risk of death. To address this, engineers began to improve the submarine. They constructed a barrel-shaped outer shell from oak and secured the two halves together with iron hoops. They then sealed the outer shell with tar to make it watertight. The driver sat inside and could add water to the bottom tank by turning a valve, allowing the submarine to submerge for sneak attacks. At the top of the submarine was a sharp drill connected to the bomb. The plan was to drill into the ship's hull and detonate the bomb, but the ship's bottom was too hard to penetrate. Later, engineers replaced the drill with a harpoon and extended the submarine's length to 13 meters, aiming to use the inertia from a forceful impact to pierce the hull and trigger the explosive directly. However, this method would create a significant commotion and risk being detected, potentially resulting in the destruction of the entire operation. At this point, the legendary weapon, the torpedo, emerged. It was powered by compressed air. When fired, an internal valve would open, releasing air to propel two plungers that provided forward motion to the torpedo. However, the release of air bubbles during firing became the torpedo's Achilles heel, as the enemy could track the torpedo's path based on these bubbles and evade it. To address this issue, engineers replaced the compressed air with an engine and equipped it with a massive battery for power. At this point, the torpedo's length exceeded 7 meters. To carry more torpedoes, larger submarines were needed. However, this raised a critical issue. The submarines needed more fuel, as their original capacity couldn't meet the demands. A dedicated fuel-carrying submarine was built, capable of holding up to 400 tons of fuel. When the torpedo-carrying submarine ran out of fuel, both submarines would surface simultaneously. Crew members would then manually connect fuel hoses, a dangerous process that took at least five hours to complete. If they were discovered by the enemy during this time, it would result in an explosion and death. Because of these challenges, submarine development stagnated for a long time. It wasn't until 1945, with the advent of the atomic age, that submarines saw a turning point in their development. In 1954, American engineers created the world's first nuclear-powered submarine, codenamed Smokefall. They installed a nuclear reactor directly inside the submarine, which generated enormous energy through atomic fission. This energy produced a large amount of steam, which was channeled into a turbine generator, driving the propeller. Nuclear submarines no longer needed refueling and could travel 100,000 miles on just a few kilograms of uranium fuel. However, as the number of personnel on nuclear submarines increased, oxygen supply became a significant challenge. To address this, engineers installed an oxygen generator from space stations directly into the nuclear submarine. It used electricity to split water molecules, producing 4,000 liters of oxygen per hour. All the oxygen flowed into various compartments, ensuring the safety of the crew's breathing. Nevertheless, torpedoes still had limited power. To make nuclear submarines more powerful, engineers sought a way to launch warheads underwater to avoid detection when surfacing. After numerous experiments, they finally found a solution. They added a sealing mechanism to the outside hatch of the nuclear warhead. About 0.1 seconds before firing, the sealing mechanism would detonate, preventing water from entering the bottom valve of the missile. Instead, it rapidly injected compressed air into the missile's bottom, providing a strong thrust that allowed the missile to pierce several meters of seawater at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour when it successfully emerged from the surface. Once above the water, a second stage fuel would ignite, allowing for precise strikes on global targets. Despite these advancements, the presence of a nuclear submarine could still be detected due to the transmission of sound waves. To achieve perfect stealth, vibrations needed to be minimized, including the noise from equipment operations and crew conversations. To address this issue, everything on the submarine was equipped with shock absorbers to minimize the noise caused by vibrations. The most challenging aspect was the propeller, which had to make some noise when rotating to provide thrust. Engineers developed a unique propeller with four additional special shaped blades. This reduced the speed of rotation while still providing a powerful thrust, resulting in fewer air bubbles and making it difficult for the enemy to detect the submarine. Thus, it silently lurked in the depths of the ocean, awaiting the arrival of the apocalyptic moment. 